Robots. Robots. <laughs> Robots. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Welcome to Panorama. Today I'm gonna be with Zach to talk about some new members of the Chinese society. That's right, Link. Next time you're in Guangzhou, this restaurant is definitely worth a visit. With 46 different types of robots in-house, everything is done by robots. Cocktail mixing, food prep, cooking, and delivery to table are all taken care of by robots. Patrons can even watch the robots at work through the glass walls while they sit and see every step of the process. And to think my parents laughed at me when I said I wanted a dual degree in gastronomy and robotics. Look who's laughing now! Check out this little guy. Kind of looks like a real life Wally, right? He started popping up in major urban cities around China in February 2020 to check the temperatures of passersby and remind them to wear masks and wash their hands when COVID was at its peak. Apparently, he can also blast out safety precautions and alert the police if someone isn't wearing a mask. That's right, this little guy here is out to save lives. What a trooper! Welcome to FlyZoo, one of the first hotels in the world to be run primarily through automation. The Hotel of the Future. After you book through their app, and check in through their automated services, facial recognition technology will grant you access to your room as you arrive. Each room comes with a T-Mall Genie smart assistant that makes Siri look like an abacus by comparison. It can help adjust the temperature, the curtains, the lights, and more, all with a voice command. They've got room service robots who deliver food, water, and towels. Now that's using tech effectively. You know those moments when you're hungry and thirsty in the middle of the road with no vendors in sight? It would be great to live in a world where your drinks are brought directly to you, right? But in China, that's a reality. Robots are now programmed to come to you with a simple clip of a nap, carrying all types of drinks and snacks. And that's not all vending robots are doing. This one's not mobile, but it'll put an ice cream together for you. Not bad, huh? Finally, the robots that scare us the most. The human-like ones. This is Jia Jia. Her eyes move naturally. She can even make self-deprecating jokes. <laughs> now, check out Jiang Lilai. She's another project work on by Chinese robotics experts. She can express complex emotions on her face. And she's extremely popular on TikTok. Developers hope that robots like this will not only be working at banks and museums before long, but also can be used in fields like healthcare and education soon. Right on! Robots in China are now being hired left and right to help the economy grow. It's exciting to see where this is all heading. And even though robots are gradually starting to take jobs from human beings, they're also creating other jobs for people. Besides, there are some jobs that robots can never take from humans, like video content creators, <laughs> right? Actually, Zach, there's something I have to tell you. <laughs> something you have to. <laughs> Thank you, Zach. Ha, uh, ha, uh, ha. Uh. Thanks for joining, RoboZack. And thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Each of these actions helps our channel grow and grow and grow. Very well. See you grow, next time. And grow 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 and gr